Okay, we are live. Awesome. So I would like to welcome Natalia. She is the founder and creator of Tutomy.com. And can you tell us a little bit more about Tutomy? Hi, guys. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Brenda, for inviting me. Mm. In a nutshell, Tutomy is a website builder where tutors and freelance teachers can create a professional website in just 11 minutes. Uh, because according to us, what is important, it's not just having a website, but using it. Uh, it's For me, the best analogy here is having a car. You can have a car, which in this example is going to like be a website, but it's not going to help you much unless you have driving license and you know how to use your car. And that's what we focus about. We want to make the experience of creating a website very simple for anybody, no tech skills, no coding skills, no design skills. And then also supporting um, teachers with telling by telling them like how they can market themselves by using this website to find students. Because what is the most important is to for you to find students in the end. Definitely. And is it very easy uh, for teachers to use? Oh, yes. So even my mother-in-law, who is uh, more than 60, for so you can imagine, like, for her, technology is not the first thing she, 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 she enjoys doing. Uh, it, it was very simple and easy to do. So I would say yes. <laughs> okay, because that's one thing. That, and and why, why should teachers have a website? Mm -hmm. So think about a website as a business card, right? Like the old days, everybody were sharing their business cards uh, because it was professional. Right now, when you work and exist on the internet, you need this, I call it like uh, online business card, which is a website. Because otherwise, think about it, like internet, like your clients don't really know whether you're a real person. There's so much spam on the internet, right? So you need this one to convince them that you're a real human being. And it more, more importantly, that you are a professional teacher. Uh, that's why you need it. On the other hand, I would say, don't spend too much time creating your website because it's not going to benefit you more whether you're going to spend like... Uh, few hours versus like few years this tool should be easy for you it's just a tool to use and th that's what we stand for okay and we're just now having some of the viewers uh join us and please feel free to make any uh to ask any questions so that natalia can answer them and um i can see that the live is very far behind where you and i actually are right now um also, it looks like you can see I was on the phone because I was, I was trying to make sure that it's going live. And um, if, what are the things that they can add to the tutoring website? Mm -hmm. So uh, there are various things. Obviously there are inf there's information about what subject do you tutor or teach? Um, another section is the rates because when I think about the general flow about finding students, it's very standard. People land on your website to basically figure out whether you, you are worth contacting, right? Like they simply don't want to lose time. So imagine you have um, students all over the world, sometimes from countries which have very different currency. And for them, um, paying you, for example, 30 or $40 dollars might not be a solution at all, right? So instead right. of losing time and trying to figure out, oh, how much do you charge? We allow uh, and actually encourage teachers to tell at least like the range that they expect to avoid all this unnecessary communication where, where people who would never become your clients reach out to you. Uh, another one is uh, you can uh, insert a link to your booking or payment system to allow them um, process this straight away as well. Uh, and uh, obviously a bit about yourself. I'm a big, big fan of showing a short 
intro video, which is ve very simple. You simply record a video, which is like 30 seconds, 40 seconds, you insert it on your YouTube, and then you basically copy the link to your website. Like everybody can do it. And I even um, created a short tutorial where I share my screen and you can simply follow the steps uh, if, okay. if you want or experience any trouble. Well, I can't seem to see the group live, live um, for questions and stuff. If you want, I will allow you, do you want to show an example of, yeah, sure. uh, of the website yep let's then do it and while you're doing that i will try to go over and, and fix see. that okay so here is a very simple example uh you can see it says demo website so obviously it's very important. It doesn't matter whether you, you are branding yourself as a school or individual tutor, but it is important to have your name included somewhere there on the website too, because guess what? It helps how people find you. So if you are a teacher and people simply remember your name when they are referring you to other, uh, others, uh, other friends, they are going to go to Google and type your name. That's why we keep this, this section when you can put both your, your, your school brand, uh, school name, but also um, your first and last name, because that's something that's going to show up in Google. Um, what you could do, this is the section um, which is um, very good one for attracting people attention. So if you have anything like a freebie, so a free gift to offer, that's something you can mention here. So for example, as you can see here, contact me for 10 tips uh, and free consultation, where simply good. the person goes and click on the contact. Um, we have a form such that you don't have to worry about displaying your email uh, publicly because you don't know how many bots and spammers are going to be on the internet checking your website. So whoever types their name here and share their email, this message is just going to go directly to your email box and then you can decide whether this person is worth contacting. And I would say this is the most important part because um, that's where people have to know they're gonna contact you. So always, whatever website you are creating, it might be with two to me, it doesn't have to be with two to me. We just make sure it's always there on the left side and when you have it on mobile as the first section. But if you have your own website with any other website builder, make sure you have this action button, contact me somewhere there in the top as the first thing to see. Also, I, I, I like yeah. that you have the social media links. So oh, yes. they'll also be able to find you. And are these share buttons? So if somebody uh, pushes it, does it uh, share? So you click and it opens your profile too. Okay. So then they can see your profile, they can subscribe. And you touched on something super important. So there's a very long dialogue uh, in terms of building websites. Should I have my social media or not? Uh, because on one hand side, it takes people away from your website. But on the other hand, it in my shows opinion, your real. It shows your real. Exactly, I, 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 I Google search people. Exactly. But also, there's one more point why it's important to have it. Remember, you never know in what kind of stage people come to visit your website. It might be very early on where they heard your name for the first time. So they just want to learn about you, right? And they're not going to be your clients, potential students are not going to be ready yet to contact you or even consider you as a teacher for them. Right. But this, your resources that you create on YouTube, on Facebook or Instagram might be interesting for them enough to subscribe. And guess what? It's like a lead. You, you kind of keep them in, in your zone of potential. Yeah, especially like Insta and you can yeah. actually build from that other leads. Yeah. And so, like Facebook is the older generation. Insta is the younger generation. You can yeah. probably add, do you, do, can they add TikTok? Um, that's one we, we can add it later on. Yes. So right now we don't support it because only a few teachers really have TikTok. It's not still the common thing to do, uh, okay. but yeah, we can easily add it to, to the template too. If somebody wants uh, just the matter of contacting me, I'm just going to insert the icon and yeah. And like for rates now, like you said, some countries are one rate, some countries are another rate. So mm -hmm. we can always say contact for, for rates. Exactly. So that's that's an option too. So for example, uh, I can actually show you how the dashboard looks. Um, so I'm going to quickly log in.
So for example, if you don't specify, let's go to rates. And as you can see, this is super easy to edit. You basically click, it's like- Oh, you edit it yourself. Hmm? We edit it ourselves. We don't have to yes. wait. Yes, you edit yourself. It's like, you know, you, you have created LinkedIn profile. You have created Facebook profile, right? So it's the same style. Yes. It's super easy. So you go and insert whatever you want. Um, let me oh, it's in dollar. It's in euro. Different. Yeah, you can put whatever you want. You can even say GBP, like words. Mm -hmm. uh, you can put like with whatever you want, really. So when you enter here, we would require you to put something. But what is important, what you can do is and say um, minimum or, for example, contact me for details. Right. For, right? So, okay. Yeah, you can specify or you can put like. And we can rate, decide right? how long we yes. want. Exactly. Lesson. So it, it's relatively flexible in a way you don't have to insert anything. And if you create it from scratch and you don't want to have anything, it's not going to show any rate as well. Okay. And I, I think that that's really easy that we can yeah. do it ourselves and we don't have to wait to contact you to add the link to the, exactly. so if you get backed up, I'll be like, wait a second, I want to change the rate now. I don't want to wait. And so, yes. so it's all on one page. They don't have to go left, right, up, down. Exactly. Everything is on one page. And if you want to see how your website looks, uh, in reality, you just click preview and it's going to show you uh, the website. So that's the whole idea because website should be evolving with you, with your business, uh, because you would need to change, you know, sometimes wording, sometimes you are adding additional subjects, uh, sometimes you are increasing rates, reducing rates, you are opening new Facebook, uh, Facebook uh, channel, uh, Facebook account or YouTube channel and so on and so forth, you would like to add it. It is important so that you don't have to rely on somebody paying them each time to do the work. Or and not even, only that, they don't exactly. have to pay for the, um, the, I know that you can custom the name and add, have it pointing to the name. Uh, you also do mapping, which we all know, uh, I've learned from you that mapping is that real estate on the right-hand side of Google, right? The mapping. So uh, yeah, it, you mean it, Google Map? Yes, because yeah. you do. You you just recently added that they're you're going to do the mapping for them as well, right? For their site or. So how it works is Google uh, requests you to order um, something which they call Google My Business. So you need to specify your address. You just. I, go... I'm still waiting for it, but yeah. I'm, yes. I'm... <laughs> so there. Yes, exactly. So they're gonna send you a postcard, uh, basically trying to check if you are a real human being, right? Um, and then they allow. I can show you how it uh, how it looks on mine because I have it for you to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so what happens is uh, usually this you get card, all that real estate on the right hand side. It's at empty. the very top. Yes. And it's empty. Yes, but, but when you have Google My Business, it shows here. So I'm going to show you any other um, company. Let's say Wix. Oh, Wix, Wix, Wix have is, has it too. Whoever I can put, I don't know. Uh, hey, I know that store. Oh, yeah. My mom goes, do you want to go to Safeway? I said, why? Is there a dangerous way? I forgot it was the store. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see? Oh, yeah. So see, when I the can... school is there, but they don't have, <laughs> and you're competing with the school. So if you say math tutor, you're you're not even going to be on the page. But exactly. if you if you have Google Map mapping, you'll be right up at the top next to the school. Yes, exactly. So so the thing is, when you, for example, type a price, you can see this place is empty, right? So you can fill it out by ordering Google My Business, and Google My Business is. Uh, they call it, I don't know, like a profile of you as a business owner, right? And that's where you can insert your website so that people click on it. And then... Would we be able to use our Tunami slash Tutomy? Is it all right to use that? Or would it be considered Tutomy? Uh, so for example, when you put Tutomy in Google, you can see you have the ratings here. Uh, they can contact you. 
and this is this button website, right? So that's gonna take you to your website directly and you can just add it on Google My Business, you as a teacher too. Mm -hmm. um, and then something cool with Google My Business is also, it doesn't show always when, when people search for it. Let me try this phrase, but yeah, sometimes they move it here uh, very often the map which comes is the first one on top. Probably it doesn't show now because we have quite a lot of ads. And if there's no ads, map is going to be the first thing people see. So when they click on this, uh, might be you are not well ranked enough to show in Google, but you'll be showing here in this rank on the first page. Because mm -hmm. people, you always review only the first page. It's going to wow. be both in Google search, but also in Google Maps. So that's another pointer where people can simply find you out. Well, the one thing is, is I won't be competing with America because I'm in Bulgaria. So I'm quite sure there's not many yeah. English English people here, <laughs> but it's getting that email from them. Um, and uh, I, I love to see you in your element. You're like, <laughs> so if I ever have a question, I know who to call. I'm like, Natalia, help. I can't do this. What am I doing wrong? And even Michael says the same thing. Anytime you have a problem, just ask Natalia. She understands. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, techno it's not that I know everything uh, because that's oh, not That's possible. a good story. How did you start out? What made you start Tutu Me? Ah, uh, what made me start Tutu Me? So basically, I think what resonated with me and freelance teachers was the same story. I didn't want to work for somebody anymore. I wanted to, to, to be my own boss and create something which helps people, right? And then tutors and freelance teachers had, had the same. They don't want to work for school anymore. They want to be independent. So that's, that was the first thing which resonated. And then the second thing which resonated was, um, I realized that for them to run a business, they have to focus so much on admin side versus actually your core business is, is two things, finding students, that's one, to um, teaching them, right? Like focusing all your time and efforts to make the best value for them, not on paying taxes, figuring out booking and payments, creating website. And when I heard a very sad story for many um, teachers, which was, you know, I went to the website builder, I spent a year trying to optimize the website to make it look, look nice. And then after a year, I realized nobody really went to my website, like zero visitors. Uh, I realized something is wrong. And what was wrong is um, that the existing website builders, which are pretty well known and everybody just go there and create their own website, they're not for private tutors and freelance teachers. They're general ones. So right. So you work, in, you work in California, so you understand Silicon Valley very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. And I, I understand also the fact that you have to focus on certain niche, like you, teachers too, to really be able to provide the not just I'm an ESL tutor find me because there's a million like for me yes. uh, I think my niche is technology because I can bring the lot the lessons alive and and use almost anything found on the internet mm -hmm. to make the the lesson interesting from finding a, a game source to finding there I've actually realized I can actually create things now that I'm seeing like I found um, a business card and it was like this. And I yeah. was like, I don't like the colors. And I went and recreated the exact business card, but I like my colors much better than the one that I had seen. Yes. And you taught me so many things on Zoom, including makeup. Like I love oh it. Oh my God. Yeah. We didn't do the purple makeup. That, that, yeah, that's we didn't probably do my this favorite. Time, this time. Uh, I think it was also disabled in the in the room you were in originally but yeah or whatever but yeah that's awesome tricks and tips that you share um, yeah a lot of people it. we have had that with the obs and the other uh software that you could add over it but i just like zoom because it's all there ready for me to go i'm yeah. just like i'm not, i don't have to add something else i don't have to go anywhere uh yeah. like i really love the fact that like I have so many different rooms going on that when I'm with the kids, I can just play and I can go from my classroom where I now combined uh, Microsoft mm -hmm. along with my Google slides. So I went and added the effects 
from the, the Microsoft from one of my slides. So do you see the background? Yeah. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. I, I, yeah, it's Halloween. We're just like, and I'm actually, if you see the names of the students, these are student made. Mm -hmm. So, and then I have like, I just got these, but I don't, yeah, look at these. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, I felt so bad because you asked about my Zoom Pro and I told you I discontinued. But yeah, yeah I promise this is just temporary. No, uh, so no, but I for me, <laughs> I'm coming back. For me, it's just something that, you know, um, I use this for, for teaching. So I can't yeah. go, I can't go without the professional. Uh, you can teach with a uh, regular Zoom for 40 minutes, but I have classes that are one hour long. So I'd be telling the kid, uh, hold on one second, let me come back to you. So. I use mainly for social media because uh, Zoom allows you to live stream to your, to your group uh, on Facebook or YouTube. When you, you use which one? Many camp? So, hmm? You use which one? Zoom. Yeah. So basically, Zoom Pro, you have to have Zoom Pro if you want to live stream from Zoom to social media. So they used to have it under basic plan, uh, but they changed the rules. So my, my main reason why I use Zoom Pro is to be on various social media. Yes, and you, you, you guys do great social media. Um, I, uh, I've been watching you and learning from the two of you. I learned about Calendly from you guys. Oh, oh like, really? Oh, I don't have to do an appointment. It automates it. Oh my God. It's great. So, and now I do links. So, so that's the thing. So I'm, I'm the person from tech word who is kind of filtering all the useful stuff for tutors and teachers. So I was really surprised when I started talking to tutors and teachers and they told me, oh, I've never heard that about Calendly. When you're in tech, I've heard everybody of it. uses Calendly. Right, but I'd heard of it, but I didn't realize mm -hmm. that all, even for free, mm -hmm. like I do my own invoicing, but I'm not going to pay them $15, $16 a month yeah, in Zoom. And Zoom. So I, because I like my own invoicing and in Zoom, you have payment links. You just write the amount and send the, it's a link. Mm -hmm. Um, but Calendly was, it only allows me one appointment at a time, but now I'm starting to do like free consultations and I'm just like, I'll do six hours a week. They can mm -hmm. choose from the after work schedule and people are scheduling, mm -hmm. but I did miss one appointment. Yeah. I have to say, uh, that also what I like about Calendly is the whole design is very clean and simple. So have you tried no the appointment one? Yes, uh, yes, the appointment one versus many tools that I've seen, they're just heavy and cluttered. Um, with with Calendly, it's very intuitive, even for the person who, uh, so you have a client who sees this system for the first time, they really know what to do. Uh, so, you know, no, no issues and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, that's why I, I recommend that one. Well, I really thank you uh, a lot, Natalia. It's always fun to talk to you and to keep up to date because I know that you're working hard. And even since I've met you, you guys, you started adding even more. Now you, you're starting mm -hmm. adding the payment and the booking. And it's just going it, to, this is what happens with business. Business yeah. has to change. Anybody involved in technology, if we think that we're just going to sit there and go, this is the way we're going to teach forever. No. Technology yeah. is consistently changing and yes. diversifying and how for it us. Works for us is it's actually bottom up. So uh, I have requests from people who are already using Tutor Me telling me, but I would need this one. So for example, uh, that's how the booking and uh, and payments came uh, because people needed it, right? So next step will be for us to have Alipay and. Um, WeChat. Uh, WeChat integrated, but also things like uh, testimonials. So for example, I believe that the people believe in, in your ratings and testimonials w w when they are done objectively on Google, for example, or on your Facebook, right? Not really testimonials that you write on your website. On your because website, you because you can write them you yourself want. and you don't have to include the bad ones. Exactly, exactly. So for example, on my own website, uh, tutorme.com, what we did, we linked people to their website to show these are real human beings, right? 
And the same approach for tutors um, and teachers would be, okay, link it to Google uh, reviews, Google ratings, or link it to your Facebook ratings. And that's something we, we will be working on going forward. And also other things, uh, you know, uh, people tell us, yeah, but I hire teachers. Like, can I have something which then have separate websites for each teacher that I hire? Um, so that's something we will be working on too. Yeah, so then that'll be like schools. Exactly. And I just heard a tip from uh, Joanne Kaminsky. You, you probably, oh. she came up with something like brilliant. You have <laughs> one Zoom room and you do tons of breakout rooms and you have whoever the head, you hire somebody to throw the teachers with the students in each of the rooms because you can have like unlimited breakout rooms. Ah, That would be like a school within itself. Yes. Yes, this is but, pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah, but can I you like imagine it, it would good. be so yes. hard to organize it? Yes, yes. She she does awesome stuff. So if you haven't checked her her Facebook group, uh, she's yeah, building yeah. a school. Oh, see? Yeah. So one thing that I really yeah. admire about her uh, as a coach for, for teachers and tutors is she thinks about the business in the business way. Because right. obviously we we do what we do because we enjoy it, but we have to acknowledge as well, we are a business. We need to make it profitable. Exactly. And there's Six just years in and I'm just now realizing, my husband said, you're finally starting to think like a business yes. person. Yes. And uh, Joanne also, she's, uh, we had talked prior before and she's also, uh, her last name is the same last name as mine before she was married. <laughs> oh, really? She's also okay. from Massachusetts. So I'm just like, ah, oh, my cousin, my cousin probably. <laughs> and we have the same energy level, but I love watching her because she's so inspiring. And she just like, people like that, you just like, it's like a magnet to, to watch right? how, they, yeah. how they talk. Yes, that, that's correct. And about the last name, uh, I was actually curious because her last name sounds a bit like Polish and I was born in Poland, so... And I'm actually curious whether like many, many years ago, there was like a grandpa, grandpa. Or maybe her I mean, husband yeah. could be. Or maybe. Because that, that, that's yeah. her married name. I'm saying her, I know what could her, be. her maiden name, like we had, I was on uh, one of the groups with her. I did an interview and when she told me, she's like, your name. And I'm like, yeah, my name. She's like, that's my <laughs> name before. And I'm like, really? I'm like, I'm married and I kept this name this time. Yeah. The last time I changed my name, nobody in my family could understand it. So the second time I got married, I'm like, that's it. I'm keeping my name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm playing with my last name whenever it's needed. So mine is very long. Yes. Uh, but my husband is, is pretty short. So when I introduce myself to people, it's usually I just use my husband last name. I was going to say, it <laughs> must be your husband because that's the short name. <laughs> yeah. The, so the short name is my husband. The long one is mine. Uh, <laughs> when I need to make it simple, I just use his. <laughs> oh my, I, I married over here in Eastern Europe and my husband's last name is like Injiv. And if you're a girl, you're Injiva. And I'm like, nope, I'm Brooks. He said, <laughs> what? And I'm like, put it on the, put it right now on the document. Brooks. That's it. <laughs> we, we're not going to play this game. I do not want to play this game. So even on my official document, it never yeah. changed. It's yes. still Brooks. Yes. So that's an option too. Uh, in the end, for me, I decided to have two of them. Uh, I got used to it. Uh, there is some problem when you process payments or something. It's not yes. everybody then acknowledge <laughs> hyphens or something else. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's worth it. But um, I think you're going live tomorrow too in your group. I, I am gonna... in Michael group. Uh, yes, and Michael's so group. Okay. in Michael group. Um, so uh, yes, uh, we have two groups. We cooperate a lot. Um, uh, so if you are curious about websites in particular and must-haves that you should think of in your uh, in when building a website, just make sure you join it. Um, if you if you want, you can always ping me after this um, this mm -hmm. live. I'm gonna send you direct link to the event. Or okay. I can post then it in the I, yeah, we can put it underneath and oh yes we again can it was so nice speaking with you and I see that we're live I've seen a couple reactions but I can't even find it when I look it up on my on my phone oh, I don't wow. know I I don't see it um I I maybe my phone doesn't like me or maybe it's gonna appear after but if we're getting reactions we must yeah. be live 
So, so guys, uh, because we promised to address your questions, uh, if you have any questions, uh, post it under live. Uh, we are going to make sure to address them after we finish this one in the comments. Yes, Natalia, we'll, we'll just, she'll be happy to answer them yeah. all. <laughs> yes, I'm going to do it. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Okay, and uh, you have a lovely evening. And I will now uh, end the live. Everybody have a great night. Thank you. Bye.